tropics right now. Yeah, really rough for Central America. This system has just been lingering across that area for days now, finally beginning to pull away, but still uh, bringing plenty of moisture to Belize. It is a tropical depression. The latest forecast, Ada expected to gain strength again as it enters into those warm waters and moves towards Cuba uh, this weekend. Tropical storm uh, over Cuba and then will make a turn to the north and west towards uh, South Miami or South Florida, I should say, towards the Keys early next week, then headed towards the Gulf. That's where it will kind of linger, hang out there early next week. And then a cold front sweeping uh, from west to east should pull this uh, to the north east. So here's the future cast, the European model showing all that rain uh, near South Florida early Monday morning tracking uh, to the north and west and there's that cold front passing uh, to the east and that will pull that moisture up our way by mid late week so we will see some uh, moisture out of the system with that cold front so we have really gone through the 2020 storm names this year uh, you can see if we get another system we don't have any disturbances right now it would be theta and that would make 2020 the hurricane season uh, the most active ever on record let's bring it back home and show you this weekend. No moisture to talk about for us uh, today here at the Lonnie Pool Golf Course in Raleigh. Mixture of sun and clouds, 72. It is mild and dew points in the upper 50s. So temperatures looking like this in your backyard. So lower 60s at the Virginia North Carolina border already in the low 70s here in uh, central North Carolina and then down in the sand hills of the coastal plain, lower 70s as well. That is above where we should be for this time of year. Average highs are on 67 degrees. We have a calm northeasterly wind, 73 for today, lower 70s this afternoon, a mixture of sun and clouds, partly cloudy this evening, turning mainly clear late this evening, and temperatures really not doing a whole lot, lower 60s and then in the 50s for the remainder of the night into tomorrow morning. So city by city, 73 for highs in Raleigh, 72 in Durham, 74 in Fayetteville. There is a low pressure right off of the coast, and that could uh, mean some, a sprinkle or two develop in the coast still a uh, plain location so just keep that in mind but most areas just remaining dry and quiet through this weekend comparing weekends look at this we were talking about a major cool down for the Halloween weekend last weekend we're over 10 degrees warmer this weekend 74 on Saturday and Sunday uh, 75 degrees the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook showing warmer than average highs usually around this time 68 67 lows in the 40s so we're going to stay well above that over the next 10 days. In fact, look at your three-day forecast. And really not bad. We could deal with some more morning fog here tomorrow morning. We had that dense fog advisory this morning. The uh, clouds lifted. It's turned out to be a pleasant Friday. Remaining in the 70s, Saturday and Sunday, each and every day we're seeing that warm-up. And then there's Veterans Day on Wednesday, that cold front coming through, nearing 80 on that day. Plenty of moisture in uh, the area then. And then it looks like we'll see some showers after that kind of lingering through next week weekend. Stay with us. We're coming right back.